On July 21, 2025, it began with a tiny smudge, barely a ghost on an Atlas telescope feed in Chile, and within hours, every serious eye in space science turned to look. The reason spread through control rooms like an electric whisper. It wasn't from here. The track wasn't curving, like a long-period comet tied to the Sunday. It cut through our neighborhood on a hyperbolic path, pure interstellar. And the smudge wasn't dead rock. It was alive with activity, bleeding gas and dust as if something inside had just woken up. By July 21st, Hubble had it. A teardrop-shaped cocoon, streaming off the nucleus material from another star system, visibly shedding in our sky. A week later JWST locked on, and the numbers it pulled shocked even hardened observers. The chemistry was wrong. Not physically impossible, but out of family. Ratios we rarely, if ever, see here. CO2 wasn't just present, it dominated. Water, usually the backbone of a comet's coma, was secondary. The tally came back around 8 parts, CO2, to 1 part H2O, the kind of skew that screams formation in extreme cold. Not the Kuiper Belt cold we know, colder. That single chemical fingerprint says 3i Atlas is a product of a totally different nursery, a place so far from its parent star that water likely froze out earlier, leaving CO2 to rule the ice. We weren't just looking at a comet, we were reading the weather report of another star's childhood. Control rooms in Hawaii, Paranal, Garching, and Pasadena went to coordinated observation. Swift, swept for X-rays. Test tracked light curves for rotation and jets. Ground spectrographs hunted molecular signatures. ESA readied Mars Express and ExoMars for a once-in-a-generation pass. This was only the third interstellar visitor ever confirmed. Oumuamua was small and weird. Borisov looked familiar. 3i Atlas arrived bigger, brighter, and chemically alien. And right here before we go further, quick ask. If you love seeing real space mystery unfold in real time, hit subscribe and tap the bell. We're tracking 3i Atlas across every publicly released channel and insider ops window we can verify, and the next weeks are critical. Now, the line that turned nervous curiosity into urgency. It's passing through. One shot. At interstellar speed, it wouldn't hang around
back. If 3 eyed Atlas coughed, Mars space would hear it first. The first frames were exactly what you'd expect at that geometry. A small, diffuse halo, sun elongated, brighter in the inner few hundred kilometers, and fading quickly precisely the slice. A smaller mirror like TGOs can catch, when corrected for stronger sunlight near Mars, the bright core matched Hubble's earlier, larger halo, steady outgassing, same chemistry, scaled by distance and flux. That clean alignment shut down a dozen bad takes about shape-shifting. The story wasn't trickery, it was instrument physics. Meanwhile, the risk models tightened. If 3 eyed Atlas was going to fragment, the stress curve would peak near perihelion. But a smaller venting event, a sudden strong jet could still happen on approach. That's why space weather teams flagged a solar eruption window around late September through early October. A CME plowing into a fresh, CO2-rich coma can create dramatic charge exchange X-rays and UV glow without any mystery energy at all. And spectacular physics is exactly what trips every sensor. Planetary defense teams used the pass as a live rehearsal. Two questions mattered. How dense is it? And how does it fail? A low-density layered nucleus is easier to disrupt. A dense, cohesive one takes more push. If 3 eyed Atlas rides perihelion intact, that's a note in the tough target column, vital for future deflection math. If it sheds a debris sheet, Mars might later witness the first interstellar meteor shower in another sky data. Perseverance and curiosity could catch as streaks and audio pops, priceless for atmospheric chemistry and grain physics. We're posting a free observer's card with the likely dates each mission releases processed frames. If you want it, comment, card, and I'll pin the download. The bigger narrative sharpened, umuamua, small, dry, puzzling. Borisov, familiar, water rich. 3. I Atlas, large, active, CO, 2, dominant. 3 data points, 3 different stories of star system chemistry. That isn't noise, that's diversity. The galaxy isn't standardized, it's variegated. When researchers talk privately about a comet lighting up every sensor, they're not imagining sci-fi beams. They mean a natural cascade, a rapid spike that propagates across bands because multiple well-understood processes fire at once. Here's the chain. First, rapid heating opens new vents. CO2 flashes off, dragging dust and organics in a fierce jet. That plume slams into solar wind, and ions exchange electrons X-rays flicker on. Simultaneously, UV lines brighten as atoms, and radicals absorb sunlight, and re-emit. The new dust forward scatters visible light, jacking the optical brightness for minutes to hours. And those freshly ripped off molecules? Some population inversions can produce radio or microwave masers in tight conditions. Suddenly, radio, IR, optical, UV, X-ray, are all reporting at once. Every sensor. Now add a CME impact. The dynamic pressure spikes, magnetic field orientation shifts, and the coma's plasma structure reconfigures. X-ray intensities climb further, UV dances, optical brightness surges, radio noise grows teeth. Instruments from Mars orbit to Earth, two all call home at once. The dashboards don't show aliens, they show physics, at maximum volume. There's a reason control rooms build calm into the script. You can't chase every hot pixel, you wait for coincidence. Two or more bands spiking on cue, from independent platforms, with sky geometry that matches. If we get that alignment around perihelion, congratulations history, a first, an interstellar outburst recorded from multiple worlds in near real time. And here's what comes next. Whether or not 3 I Atlas detonates. Comet Interceptor is on deck to wait at L2 and pounce on the next 3 I Atlas, rapid targeting, fly through sampling, plasma, dust, fields. No more, we saw it late. We'll meet one, also in motion. Rapid response intercept concepts using solar, high thrust electric, and Jupiter slingshots. The engineering question isn't, can we? It's, can we be ready? Interstellar visitors are drive-bys. If you blink, they're gone. Three, I Atlas is the last time anyone wants to be caught with only long distance spectra. Perihelion is approximately equal to 1.4 AU, active window across late October. Expect a burst-heavy watch posture and staggered releases as teams calibrate. 
We'll timestamp what drops and cut the noise from the signal. The terrifying angle isn't doom, it's implications. A CO2 dominant interstellar comet means some star systems package chemistry differently. They may deliver different starting kits to young worlds, changing the odds for early organics and habitability. That's the shiver, not apocalypse, but possibility. Step back, and the pattern is unmistakable. Umuamua taught humility. We can miss small interstellar rocks until they're already leaving. Borisov reassured us, not everything from the void is weird. 3. I Atlas raises the ceiling. Bigger, hotter, chemically alien, multi-platform science possible. The galaxy isn't sending clones, it's sending samples. And samples mean statistics. What we learn right now feeds three engines. 1. Planetary defense. Mass. Density. Cohesion. These are the numbers that decide how you push something, if you ever must. If 3 I Atlas shrugs off heating, future strategies skew toward energy-intensive solutions. If it sheds easily, kinetic gets cheaper. 2. Origin science. That 8 to 1 CO2 to H2O ratio isn't trivia. It tells us how a giant planet's cleared lanes, where ice is condensed. It sketches a star system we may never see, through a messenger we can. 3. Life pathways. Comets are delivery trucks. Different cargo means different starting kits for life. Heavy kits change pH regimes, solvent mixes, and surface chemistry on new worlds. If life is a recipe, alien comets hack the ingredients. Let's also clear the techno artifact question cleanly. SETI arrays, including breakthrough listen, scan every interstellar arrival for narrowband carriers. So far, silence. Kinematics? Natural. Orbit? Fits gravity. Non-grav accelerations? Within outgassing models. Species? Known if unusual in proportion? Could something hide inside a comet-looking body? In principle, sure. But the burden of proof is high. And 3. I Atlas hasn't crossed it. The honest position is exactly where leading teams sit today. Natural, extraordinary. So, what did it release that lit up every sensor? If we're lucky and the telemetry hints are right, it was an outburst cascade. A sharp, multi-band spike triggered by heat and space weather, recorded by orbiters at Mars, space telescopes at L2, and ground arrays on Earth. A natural event, but the kind you plan careers around. So, what do you think holds the bigger key to understanding life in the cosmos? Water-rich comets that deliver familiar building blocks. Or, these CO2 dominant aliens that could rewrite the recipe for habitability. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're enjoying this deep dive into real-time space mystery, help us out by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and tapping the bell so you don't miss an update. We'll be tracking this all the way through perihelion, and your support makes it possible.